Hey guys, let us know is with Crypto Marie Local and International. George, who dismissed Trump criminal case, is future Supreme Court Justice Gates says. Now we have a reason why she dismissed the case. Now, if it was anybody else, would she be considered to dismiss the case? I don't think so. That just show you right there. If a white man commit a crime, there's a high chance he get out free, go around, mind his business. Not only white men, white men with money and fame. This is exactly what's going on. If it's a black man or order, broke, middle class, barely making it, you're going to jail. This is what it is in America. If you don't get it by now, too bad. I'm sorry for you. This is what it is. And Donald Trump said it once. He could stand on Fifth Avenue, take somebody's life. He will still have people support him. And this is exactly what's going on. When in the hell do you hear a president leave the White House, take important documents with them, and the case is, be is being dismissed? Like it wasn't a big deal. What was his plan? Why he took those documents with him? How about if those documents were to fall in the wrong hand? This is America's information in the wrong hand. Like, are you serious? Of course she's a future Supreme Court. Of course. That's why she did it. The far-right Florida Republican, Matt Gaze, has held Aline Cannon, the judge who dismissed the classified documents case against Donald Trump as a future Supreme Court justice. Future Supreme Court Justice Cannon Gates post Monday to social media with a picture of the Florida jurors. In four years as President, Trump nominated three hardline right ringers to the Supreme Court. Title 63 to the right, the court has delighted conservatives and enraged liberals by handing down epochal ruling against abortion, restricting gun control, granting presidential immunity, and more. Trump nominated Kennan to the federal bench in November 2020 at the end of his time in power. Since leaving the White House, he has faced unprecedented legal jeopardy it's like he knew what his future was going to be like after he left the right house so he put people in position that would be able to save him to get him out of trouble and those people are really falling for the trap you know since leaving the white house he has faced unprecedented legal jeopardy and civil case trump was fined millions for business fraud and defamation arising from a graped allegation a judge called substantially true in criminal cases trump was convicted in new york on 34 criminal charges related to harsh money payments he still faces four federal charges and 10 georgia state charges arising from his attempt to overturn the 2020 election Kennan was randomly assigned to Trump's federal documents case in which the special counsel Jack Smith brought 40 charges related to improper retention of classified information. The judge was widely criticized for perceived partially partiality to Trump as she repeatedly delayed proceedings. Ultimately, on Monday, she threw the case out, ruling Smith improperly appointed. Listen, guys. She knew what she was doing. President, former President Donald Trump knew he was going to be in trouble. So he put people in position that would get him out of trouble with no problem, with no regard. It is a white wall. It's their world. We just happen to live in it. Any other person did that will end up in jail. Any other person find 34 felonies will be in jail right now, not running for president. Can you imagine this? Trump cannot vote for himself because he's a felon, but other people will vote for him. And to all the black people that feel like they have a connection with Trump because Trump is being convicted with so many crimes and still fighting you are not trump you will never be trump trump had a silver spoon in his mouth since he was a young boy okay 
he's learned to be racist he's learned to be discriminated against people that don't look like him trump did what he did he get caught 34 felonies because he was not smart enough to do the right thing not to be caught okay he was supposedly famous and a billionaire he got money like that supposedly what black man you know famous rich don't go to jail when they commit a crime in america you can't come up with one oj samson was in jail so many other athletes famous actors went to jail it did not matter how rich or famous they were how how much money how much influential they were in the community they still go to jail when they do something trump is not going to see one day in jail because of the skin of his color the color of his skin sorry a white man in america rich and famous i hope you let that sink in subscribe let me know how you feel to other black people i think you're out of your mind you don't have common sense can any of you guys tell me the four years that former president trump was in office you were able to buy a house you were able to build a business you were able to send your kids to school. Your kids were free to go around with a hoodie without getting shot at or police harassing them. Can any of you guys answer those questions? Then I will respect your opinion by supporting this guy. Because some of you guys are saying financially you were better off. In what sense? In what way? Seriously. The tax cut was not for you. It was for his billionaire friends. So get some common sense. He's not for you. He already classified you in a black job position. What's in it for you? To which is on, you can vote for whomever you want to, but don't make it seem like you had a better life financially because this man was in office for four years. What did he do for you? What have you done for me? Argentina, don't cry for me. Those people, I have a problem with politicians, period. They go to black churches, to black area ghettos neighborhood when they want to be elected and once they get elected they forget about who take them to the office who elect them to go to office they forget about all the promises they done they give to those people all the hopes and dreams oh i will help you do this i will help you do that of course people need to stand up for themselves and start something before people give you free stuff but at the same time to all the people that think if former president trump go back you will get free stimulus check you are out of your goddamn mind the free stimulus check you get it was because there was a pandemic the coronavirus you're not gonna get that you better get your ass up go to work stop acting like you need somebody to give you a check it's not gonna work you were born here you have the opportunity to educate yourself to make it in this country you allow immigrants coming from different places doing way better than you why are you here watching looking at them like uh that's your car that's your house get up bitch do something for yourself stop waiting for a little hand out that's why they don't respect y'all subscribe let me know how you feel thank you for watching no disrespect it's just that people born here have it get along go to school educate yourself of course it's not all black people but when you thinking trump will make your life easier because he's gonna give you stimulus check you out of your goddamn mind period thank you for watching